What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going somewhere pretty cool, but in the meantime, I just want to show you something which is two minutes down the road from where we're actually going today. Some of you guys might have been here, but for the ones that haven't, check this out. So we're at this really cool reservoir, like I say, two minutes from where we're going today. And in the background right there, there might be, might be a little hint of where we're going today. So we're gonna head two minutes up the road and we'll catch you there. See you in a sec. And here we are at Brecon Mountain Railway. So let's go inside and check it out and see what it's like inside. So now we're inside and we've got our tickets. I'll run through the prices for you. So adults are £22.50, a child with an adult is £11.25, infants under the age of two are free, dogs are £3 and some of the carriages are wheelchair accessible. Now those prices to me do seem expensive but I'm just hoping that the views are going to be worth the money. I also know that they are taking bookings for a Santa special for Christmas which probably would be quite good to be honest the journey itself is an hour and a half long these prices that it, that is for a return journey back to the station so as you come up from the main entrance there towards the train they do have a viewing platform over their workshop where they actually work on the trains and I think this is quite good for the public to be able to see How cool is that? What do you think of it, Al? It's, it's cool. Good. It's good. Yeah, it's <laughs> That is absolutely wicked. I think they've got to turn it round to hook it up now. So let's go and go and get a ride on a train. Let's go. How cool is that? Good good company, as I see, as always. Right by the door. Look at that. 
So the return journey is nine and a half miles and then when we do get to the top we will be getting off for a wander round. So they've just announced, if you can hear me, that we're allowed to go out onto the balcony just out there and as we're next to the door, that is absolutely brilliant. Look at that for a view. Wow, that view is insane. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Position with our tickets, didn't yeah, we, we, we did. Lucky. Especially sat on the end there. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. So there was two reasons why we went on this train. One, because Isaac's absolutely obsessed with trains, and two was because of the views like this absolutely stunning but what I find hard to believe was this train was actually built in the USA in 1897 and then it was bought to the UK in 1990 and then it was bought into service with Brecon Railway in 2019 so it looks like we've reached our stop Right, so we get a 10 minute break and they're calling us back now. So we've got to go back onto the train. Because I think it's the toilets here as well, if you need to use a toilet. Right, all I ask now is when the engine comes back up towards the platform, okay? If you could all stand roughly where this young man's standing by, yeah? Because when the engine comes up, the pistons are going to be blowing, it'll be steam coming out. I'm going to do it the way. Yeah, Obviously turning it round to hook it back up to take us back again. What's that? Reversing. <laughs> so we're now towing in reverse by the looks of it. All hooked back up. We're going to get back on. Alright. Alright. Young man, you got to hold on very tight for me. Huh? <laughs> There is quite a lot of ash flowing around, if you can hear me in the mic, because it is quite noisy. Yeah. There's a lot of ash in there, from the engines. <laughs> it's alright, it's not going to hurt you, is it? Do you recommend this? Yes. Yeah? People can hear you. Hang on, let's put the mic here. So you would, you, would you recommend this? Yeah. Yeah, it is good, really good. It's great to see the uh, all the scenery, and see everything from a different perspective. It's great really, isn't it?
an overnight train, isn't it? Look at it getting all comfy over there. You right there, Al? You haven't fallen asleep just yet? <laughs> She said she didn't have ash on her. Not in my hair. <laughs> it looks like we're just coming back to the station now, where we started. At least it seems that way anyway. And we're off. That was really, really good. I think they've got a gift shop here and as well, so we're gonna go and have a look at that. But really, really enjoyed that. I've always loved it, especially for what they're doing now, backing it up. He stopped, Isaac. So as you walk into the gift shop, they've got some toys there for the children to play with. They have loads of things in this gift shop, from toys to books to everything that you could imagine, really, that, that a gift shop needs to give you. So I'd highly recommend going in there and maybe even pick yourself up a little cap there. We didn't leave here empty-handed as the boys were desperate to find something to take home. This is absolute fate, isn't it? Look, from one of our last videos. We just found that in there. Look at that. It's meant to be. It is meant to be. If you haven't uh, seen that video, please check it out. I'll drop it up here at the end. So next door to the gift shop, there is a small waiting area near the platform next to this really cool train track. For the children to play with whilst they're waiting for their train which i thought was a great idea it does have a stop start button on the wall so they can stop it and start it whenever they want to this would be great if you were waiting for your train to arrive so we've got a few bits and pieces there from the gift shop it's quite good in there the only thing is if you're taking kids in there don't forget your wallet <laughs> So before we head home, there's only one last place to check out and that's the tea room. So as you walk in, there's plenty of tables and chairs everywhere to have something to eat. And as you'll see over here, they have a great display over here with freshly made cakes. Over in the fridge there, they have plenty of sandwiches, crisps and whatnot. They also have a great choice when it comes to coffees as well, as you'll see just there. All right, can I get two flat whites, please? Uh, take out, please. I paid them extra to do that for you. <laughs> Just for you, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> That was really, really good. To be honest, I would recommend that. That was absolutely brilliant. The views are amazing. Enjoy it? Yeah, yeah? I would recommend it. You would recommend it? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's really good. Definitely worth the money, I would say. And got a cheeky flat white on top of the world. So we're heading back to the car now, and we've got a three hour drive back to Salisbury. So thank you very much for watching the video if you've got this far. Also, in my next video, we have made a purchase. We've made a purchase. 
Um, in our last, well, one of our last videos, we couldn't decide between a camper van, motorhome or camper, and we have made a decision. So stay tuned, and that video will probably be out next. So if you like the video, give it a like, and Alfie, and Alfie, do your bit. And subscribe. And subscribe, and what you've got to do with that subscribe button? Smash it again. Smash it, smash that subscribe button down there somewhere. Till next time, guys, see you then. That's the reality of YouTube, always running back, always running back for the camera.